I felt good, I felt relaxed. Uh, I was a bit tense before the fight, but that was just because I, I wanted to perform uh, coming off the last, uh, the last glory fight. Um, I already had a, I had a win since then, but uh, I wanted to get a win here in glory against a top guy. <laughs> it felt so good. It really feels nice, you know. It feels, uh, yeah, words can't describe it. It feels really nice. No, no outside pressure, that's for sure, because I, I think I was a bit of an underdog because I've gone down in the ranking, especially since that fight and everything. So uh, no outside pressure, but for myself, I just I wanted to do it. I wanted it so bad. Um, you know, I, I put some pressure on myself. I, if I lost this, maybe I'm not cut out for this anymore. So uh, I had to win it, because if I didn't win it, then I might have to... <laughs> it was out of fear of maybe going to a regular life, of not doing this anymore. So I, I had to do it, I had to do it. That's it. If I don't listen to my corner, what happens in July happens. Uh, I get into. I, I like. I like. I like to fight. It's fun to fight. But unfortunately, when you just fight, those things happen. You can get put down. When you box and you move and you you, you know you, you you use the skills that you have that I have, which not many people have. Uh, then, you, like you said, you can make a, a beautiful fight. And I need to listen to these guys more often and take that word seriously because uh, if I do what I want to do. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm not smart, you know. When it comes to that stuff, I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah. I've I've been training for a really long time, and uh, I've been watching fights for so long, you know, through my dad, with my brother. My dad sent me to train with some of the best people in the world, like Peter Cunningham here, who was in my corner today, which is it was so nice to finally have him in my corner. I trained with him when I was about 16 or so. I trained with him 15, no, maybe maybe younger. I trained with him in, over here in California and uh, finally got to have him in my corner and he's one of the slickest kickboxers in the, that's ever been, you know? So to have him in my corner is so nice and, you know, I've trained with guys like Peter, I've trained with Andy Sauer, I've trained with Andre Manor, I've trained with uh, Rob Carmen, I've trained with some of the absolute best guys in the world. I've picked up these little things from everybody and then plus with my own little sneakiness and things that I do, I just, you know, from trying to not get hit by my brother and stuff like that, I pick these funny things up and uh, they, they can't they can work if I do them properly and I box like I'm supposed to. I, like, I, I got a bit ahead of myself before July. I was saying, I want City Chai, I want City Chai, instead of looking at the guy I had right there. Uh, this time I didn't do that. I was looking only at Stoya and that's it. I wasn't thinking of past him. I'm still not really thinking past him. What comes, comes. Um, I, I just need. To, I want to keep this going. I want to keep this this uh, this this Josh going. Um, so I don't I don't care who comes next. If I can, you know, if it can be another top guy, great. Whatever. But I'm. Uh, I, I want to go some. I would like to go somewhere. Maybe pick up some new tricks from someone else. Spar with some good good guys. And again, up my level one more time. Because like Peter said today, that was only 50% today. I want to. Uh, next time I'll give 60. <laughs> I love to fight in England. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I live in Canada. I've lived in Canada for nearly my whole life, but I still feel English. I, you know, I, I, I love everyone in Canada, and I do love Canada as a, as a whole. But I still feel I'm an Englishman, you know. And uh, my culture is English, everything. And I, I would love to fight in England and get build my build my support over there, where I really feel I'm from. You know, so I would love to fight in England. It'd be lovely. Nah, he's got a hard kick. Stoyan's got a hard kick. I think one of the first ones I blocked. Uh, ooh, that was a good one. He gave me a nice little lump on my arm. It's, uh, it's just a lump. Nothing. Uh, I can still I can still jab his head off with it. So it's all right. Yeah, just a bit of ice on my arm.